hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Now, one of the things I said we were going to do at the beginning of the year was lots of uh, whiskies from unusual distilleries. Um, and I might not sound like it, but I am Canadian, uh, living in BC, one of the more restrictive um, provinces for alcohol sales. So I don't really have access to lots of different distilleries. Fortunately, uh, when people come to visit me, I ask them to bring a bottle. When I visit other places, I bring bottles with me. Uh, and a t a probably just over two years ago, I managed to get hold of a bottle of Inchgower. So this is, uh, you know, quite good to get hold of this when you're trying to get through all of the a bottle from all of the distilleries in Scotland, because before you get it, before you know it, you, you've got around to Inchgower and you think you've never really heard of that before and it's not widely known this is one of the um flora and fauna bottling so it is a diageo distillery uh it's got a little seabird on it of some kind not sure what that would be i could look it up oh the oyster catcher uh so yeah all of the um Flora and Fauna bottles have got a different native animal from Scotland on it. And this Inchgower is the Oyster Catcher, which is actually quite apposite. Um, so it's a um, Speyside distillery. Bought this a couple of years ago from the UK and a, um, a relative brought it to me. Can't remember what I paid. Bottle at 43% ABV. I don't know if it's chill filtered or natural color. The bottle does not indicate. Now, I actually took this bottle to a whiskey shop uh, swap meet in um, Victoria, and it went on the table with all of the other bottles there. Uh, and I brought it because we were tasked to bring something that was unusual that you wouldn't always be uh, ordinarily be able to obtain in that part of Canada. And uh, Inchgar is certainly on the list. And I put it on the table with all of the others and uh, I was trying to get people to have it first because it's uh, quite a light whiskey and there were some very peated ones there. So I was trying to get people to try a bit and everybody was was uh, really impressed with it. They all, they all thought it was good. And I'm trying to keep enough of it so that I can take it home and review it. And, you know, the bottle was still going down quite slowly. And then all of a sudden I look away and I look back and it's down to about there. So I had to grab it off the table, run to my room, rescue it um, to ensure that I had enough to review because it's going to be hard to get another inch gower if all of it goes and I don't get the chance to review it. So very glad to have this bottle. It's been in the collection for a while. It's been on the list for a while, uh, but it's not one that's easy. That's going to be easy to replace. So that's why I've been keeping it for a while. Hmm. And other flora and fauna bottlings I've reviewed, Dalyuan, Linkwood, and um, Blair Assel. And now the Inchgower. Hmm. Very, very lovely coastal space side notes going on in the nose. want to take a little bit of time with a little bit of aniseed, a little bit of um, uh, licorice. Overwhelmingly, it's grassy with apples, tree fruits, light, bright and breezy, coastal. That's classic Speyside malt, custard creams, a little bit of white wine. A great Speyside malty cereal nose. A little bit of citrus, lemon zest, quite a bit of citrus actually. Fresh, bright and breezy, salty, coastal, honey, melon. Fruit salad with apples, uh, grapes, pears. Nothing exotic in it, but... Very lovely. Slightly buttery, a little bit of milk chocolate on the nose. Those grassy notes of hay, freshly cut grass. Sweet spices, marshmallow, chai, 
sweet milky chai. All of it cut with a little citrus. Really enjoyable, engaging nose for people who like the Speyside whiskies, which is a style that I've uh, begun to really enjoy. Very lovely, interesting Speyside malt that's gristy and caramelly. There's grass, tobacco, creamy notes in there, butter fudge, caramel butter fudge, vanilla, butterscotch, cut with a little of an alcohol note, a little bit of spice in there as well. Cinnamon and a pleasant oak spice, which is lip smacking. Let's give it a little bit of water. I stress a little bit because this is only 43% ABV. So half a teaspoon will probably do it. Sweeter citrus coming through. Sweet ginger. Those cereal notes, blood orange. A little bit of orange oil. Um, or menthol. With a bit of water, the palate just bursts with barley sugar and then moves on to an oaky dryness. Sweet cereals, that fairly robust oak. Sweet citrus, a cooling mint. And the finish is of salt, licorice root, aniseed, poppy seed, pear drops. Something slightly aromatic that I can't quite put my finger on. A little bit of green chili, menthol, and spices. Hmm. Oh, really excited to have this. Really enjoyed it, and I was glad to share it with others in uh, Victoria. Um, it's probably one for the space side enthusiast. This one. Um, I mean, it, people who are interested in try unusual space size, try this or a Linkwood. Um, I don't know whether I would smuggle another bottle into Canada, but if, you, if you're if you able to get hold of an inch gal where you live, particularly this 14 year old, I would uh, not hesitate to buy it. I think it's well worth the money. So, hope you enjoyed the review. Like, comment and subscribe and see you again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.